words like that, a row, then I have to take another row and put like that over that. Mm -hmm. And then I had to do another row, and it was like three rows. And then they had a trough full of water. Um, I would have to take those plates and go out there and clean them up. We had steel brushes. I do that. So you weren't supposed to roll up the coast in your pants, and I forgot. Oh, and put it on. But uh, when I had my helmet on and I was doing my beads, <laughs> you know the the steel was flipping all over. Mm -hmm. I didn't know it. All of a sudden, my my legs got hot, mm. and all of that stuff had got down in the cuffs of my dungarees. Uh oh. And I was on fire. Oh no. I pulled my whole pants off and went and jumped in that <laughs> trough of water. Oh my. <laughs> Were you okay? Yeah, I was oh, okay. Wow. But I drew a crowd. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you did. <laughs> Now, were they mostly women that were welders at that point, or was it mostly men? No. Mostly men? They were ladies. Oh, ladies. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. I didn't care if I wanted to do something, because my parents told me, uh, you can do it. what you want to do, you can do it. That's amazing. Yeah. That was, that was, a, that was unusual for that time, right? For right. girls to be told that? Absolutely. And then, and you did. You just went ahead and did everything that you wanted to do. But what happened to be the welder? Yes. Um, the welders, the certified welders, had to go in the bottom of the ships and cut round holes so that they could run all those wires. Right. Well, this guy named Smokey, he needed a tack welder. So I ended up as a tack welder, his tack welder. Every one, a man had his own tack welder. And what I was tacking was, a, I think it's called aluminum. It's like a tin. Mm -hmm. And if you touched it, uh, you could blow a hole in it quick and uh, it would turn green. So I learned to be a tack welder. And uh, after we got out, some of the uh, people, uh, Bubba Rogers, we was talking one day, and I said, well, I used to be a tack welder. He said, you lying. I said, no, I'm not. I'm not yet a tack welder, and I had I was attacked with a book, a guy named Smokey. He says, I'm going to prove that you don't know. He went and got a piece of tin, because he welded. And he brought me a stick welder you held in a, a, you know, holder. And he said, now, let's see you uh, uh, draw something, a bead or something like that. And I took that old, it was white. You put it in that holder. I put my helmet on, and I said, you know, I showed him I could weld. Uh -huh. I couldn't, I didn't, I never become a certified welder. I see, I see. And uh, so he, was he amazed? Uh, was he amazed uh, that you could yeah. weld? Yeah. He said, I'll be damned. <laughs> <laughs> she really amazed.